and welcome. I am Zombie Kitty, and welcome to another product review. Uh, so, while I was away in London, I was working at London Film at Comic Con, which was very fun but also completely mad. <laughs> um, but while I was away, a parcel came for me. Well, actually, two parcels. Here we go again. So if you don't know what this is, if you haven't seen my other Hex review, uh, these are the Hex um, and FNAF collab. So Hex is a project that Dorco started. It's a webcomic um, about this little toy that gets made by a witch and escapes and goes on different adventures. Uh, but they have done an official collab with Five Nights at Freddy's. So this is the second um, drop, essentially. This is Golden Freddy and Spring Bonnie. So I will open these up and we can take a look. Ooh. Oh yeah, they come in pieces. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh God, hang on, I've realized they're all in pieces. I've got to put them back together. Hang on a minute. Do you connect to this or do you connect to that one? Uh, oof. You're not the right thing. Yes, you are. Ta-da! So, these guys look really cute. Um, I probably won't talk too much on Spring Bonnie, uh, but if you don't know how these work, basically... <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I can put you back together. It's okay, buddy. Basically, each limb and head and the neck have very strong magnets in them. There you go. So I can hold him like this, and it's completely fine. And I can take them apart, and which also means I can take them apart and put different parts of the body on them. So now that I have three of the plushies, we can make some interesting combos. <laughs> but uh, this is Spring Bonnie. I'm going to start with him first because he's my favourite and he's really cute. Um, he's adorable. <laughs> he's really, really cute. And these also do all have the button eyes, so like Coraline, very Coraline-esque. The item that he has is a pizza cutter, which is really, really cute. It's supposed to be a little sort of, um, a bit sort of wonky, because it's supposed to represent a toy. The idea with these ones is the Spring Bonnie was supposed to represent uh, the type of toy and even Golden Freddy, the type of toys that the crying child from FNAF 4 would have in his room. So that's why he's got a piece of cutter. The prototype did have a knife, but they ended up changing their mind on how they wanted to portray the Spring Bonnie. But yeah, it's very, very fluffy, just like the Bonnie plushie that I've got as well. I've got the original Bonnie plushie for this too, which is the purple one. Very, very soft. It's made from the same it's made from the same um, type of uh, material as well so I think they all are apart from the Freddy which I'll get to but he's very very cute oh Freddy you've been in the way the whole time not yet <laughs> you'll have the spotlight in a minute but very very cute um, very very fluffy I really do like the design of these they're really cute um, and the pizza cutter is a really nice addition, especially with Spring Bonnie being like, Spring Bonnie and Golden Freddy being the face of Freddy Fazbear um, Pizza Diner. I can't remember the name of the actual restaurant off, off the top of my head, um, but it was the, the family diner. So a bit more family friendly than a knife. But let's go on to Golden Freddy and we can talk about him because he is made a little differently. So, Golden Freddy, you finally get the limelight. There you go. So, this is Golden Freddy. He's got a, I think it's a walkie-talkie from what I remember, or a radio. Uh, this is a walkie-talkie. So, he has a walkie-talkie, but I don't know if you can see it in the, the video. Let me take one of his limbs off. There's a difference in the material on the Freddies. So the Freddies are made from a different material. So they're made to look a bit more fluffy, but a bit scraggly compared to like the, the neat softness of the Bonnie plushie. Um, and all the Freddies I think are going to be like this. The original Freddy is like this as well. Um, 
and the golden thread is like this too uh, the, the top hat is actually quite solid won't come off completely stuck to his head and it, it is actually made really solidly as well um, there's the back, his little tail, his little booty <laughs> uh, and I really like the, the addition of the, the little bow ties as well they're really really cute they're really well made as well just like with the, the hex bonnie, the original bonnie as well and yeah I like his little smile too little purple smile <laughs> let's do the head test there you go Bonnie didn't do the head test when I filmed the video but did it every other time so <laughs> I think that was a mess up on my part <laughs> so whoopsie but yeah this one's really cute I do like that the Freddies do have a uh, different material it makes them more sort of teddy bear like as well and once again like the magnets are really strong good quality um it's very well made he's got little buttons here too and it's very cute and i also like the addition of the stitch marks on his stomach i don't know if you'll be able to see that very well because my camera's not really focusing on it there you go sort of ish <laughs> ish and now it's not there you go it's not focusing back on me but it was now um but you've got the addition of the stitch marks on his stomach which is a really nice addition to uh does bonnie have that spring body does have that i put him on the floor at the moment but he has the same around his stomach as well which is really really cute it does really give him like that old sort of teddy bear feel as well and yeah um just like the other plushie as well you do get art cards so Who's this? This is Fredbear. Well, Fredbear, Golden Freddy. I apologise, I've got it wrong the whole video. So there you go. So that's the Fredbear one. And then the Spring Bonnie one. So Fredbear looks as if, yeah, he's... I don't know, there's a fan next to the Fredbear one. So he'd be on the Night Guard's desk. Spring Bonnie... Oh, Spring Bonnie one's an interesting one. Spring Bonnie is very interesting. I don't know if you can see. There you go. So he's running away from something or going running to someone. But there's the purple guy shadow in the background. That's a cool one. I like these ones. These are cool. <laughs> um, but you do get art cards with... You're going down there. You do get art cards with the plushies. Uh, I think you get them for the hex plushies as well. Um, but the FNAF ones definitely do have art cards with this as well, as well as the the good quality bags that come with it that they're packaged in, and they are really good quality. I use the Bonnie one for, for when I go to the gym, so I do use it quite a lot. I would definitely be using these bags as well and overall I, I am repeating myself from the last review but just like this one just like uh, the bonnie plushie sorry it's very warm in here just like the bunny plushie the fredbear and the spring bonnie plushies are really well made the magnets are really strong so uh, they are a sign of good quality it also explains once again why they are the price that they are um, you get a lot for your money and actually the quality of the magnets make up probably most of the price in itself so that is a reason why they're the price that they are um but yeah and i like that all the freddies have a different material it really gives them like a nice sort of old teddy bear feel which i i really do like um and just the general design of them with the button eyes and everything i i just love it <laughs> i i love the design of them um i do know that hex did announce during dorko's charity stream he did reveal the wave 2 plushies which is on faf 2 so that includes balloon boy toy freddy toy bonnie toy chica um uh toy 
uh, no, not Toy Foxy. There was another one. Mangle is going to be included, which makes sense. I mean, if there's ever a perfect plushie to do with the magnets, then it would be Mangle. But I think that is going to be separate um, or released separately just because of that's going to be a bit more of a complicated design. So that one is going to be released separately. But I'm looking forward to seeing what that one's going to look like. So that was my review on the Hex, Fredbear and Spring Bonnie plushies. I apologise, I've been calling it Golden Freddy the whole video. It's Fredbear. Um, yeah, really, really cute. I really like the plushies. I think they're adorable. <laughs> and they're really good quality as well. If you have anything you want me to review, like products um, or films or anything, please let me know. Or if you want me to react to a video or play a particular game, let me know as well. I do look at requests and recommendations, so yeah, feel free to do so. Uh, in terms of live streaming, I probably won't be live streaming for a while. We're going through another heat wave, so it's ridiculously warm in this room and I am absolutely sweltering and melting in my chair. <laughs> so I don't know when I'll be live streaming next, uh, so I do apologise for that. I was supposed to be doing Klonoa 2, because uh, that's just been remade and released, but again, I don't know when that's going to happen, because there is a heat wave at the moment in the UK, and it's just too hot to live stream. Uh, but I, if you follow me on Twitch, then you will get notifications for when I go live. But thank you all for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye!